All right, so you've been given a, a URL, which you've put into your browser, and been asked to download a video. Now, you may be prompted for a password. If so, please see the other video on how to use a password here on the Vimeo, I guess is how you pronounce that. So we put in the URL here, and now we see the video on our screen here. Of course, we're using a Firefox browser. Now, we're going to click on the download button right here. And we're just going to say which type of file we want to download. So let's just say we want to download an SD file. So we're going to click on SD. Now, notice that the video comes back up again. Give it just a minute here. And it's going to come up in a smaller resolution because we picked SD, by the way. And we're going to see that it's coming up on the screen. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have to save this video little different than other browsers, so it's important that you understand each browser is just a little bit different. So we're going to go ahead and do a right click here, and we're going to say Save Video As. Once we do that, we're going to be prompted to save the video as whatever we want to save the video as. So put in, um, you know, a name, or, you know, just leave the default. doesn't really matter. Notice here that it is an MP4 file that's downloading, so that means that you'll be able to take this file, put it on a USB key, or put it on your local hard drive and run it, and your video player on your computer will view it. In Windows, for example, it'll just come up in Windows. So, and then all we simply do is hit Save. Now, once we hit Save, it begins the save process, and it's a little hard to see on this screen, but look down at the Firefox. Do you see the green? moving right there. So that green moving means that that file is being downloaded. And once that file's downloaded, it's going to prompt you and say all files have been downloaded and you'll be good to go. The other way you can check on your download is to look right here in the download area. Do you see where it says a little green there? It says six minutes remaining. Let's so let's... Whoops. Let's go ahead and... Um, just click, sorry about that, the video kept going. Let's go ahead and click on Downloads here. Now we see, I already downloaded this for another uh, test or another video that I was doing. So uh, we'll move that. So your download should look similar to this. Remember I named the file a name. Notice here it's downloaded this. Once it comes up and is available, you'll see it right here. It'll all be in here. And you can right click and say, open containing folder and then that it'll take you directly to the file itself and then you can copy that file and do whatever it is that you need to do with it.